Hey y'all, welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. In this video, we are going to start talking about atoms. Atom, the smallest unit of matter. An atom is the smallest unit that retains properties. Now what that means is if we had like a bucket of gold and we looked at all of its characteristics, its physical and chemical properties, and then we reached into the bucket and plucked out one atom, one gold atom, that atom all of the same physical and chemical properties as the bucket of atoms. It doesn't matter if you have a proton from that gold atom and then you had a proton from an oxygen atom and you look at those two protons, they look exactly the same. Same thing with neutrons and electrons. That's why the atoms are considered to be the smallest particle, even though we know the atom is made up of even smaller particles that we call subatomic particles. The atom is made up of three particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Let's start with the proton. Protons are located in the nucleus. They have a positive charge. Their symbol is little p with a little subscript of a plus to represent that positive charge. Protons have a mass of one amu. Atoms, they're so, so tiny. Look at that, one amu. Oh my gosh, y'all. But do you see that exponent? Negative 27, but you see that that's in kilograms. We do not want to talk about atoms in that term of a number. That's crazy. Atomic mass unit is a created unit just for atoms. John Dalton, he used the fact that there are 12 particles in the nucleus of a carbon atom and said, one of those particles, that's just going to be one AMU. Let's keep talking about protons. Elements are identified by their name, their symbol, and their atomic number. And since the atomic number is the number of protons, the number of protons also identify the element. Z means atomic number. If we zoomed in on one element on the periodic table, nitrogen symbol is N, it has seven protons. The atomic number says so. Okay, so now let's look at the neutron. The neutrons are also located in the nucleus. Neutrons have no charge. They're neutral, neutral, neutron. Positive proton, neutral, neutron. So the symbol is a little n with a superscript of zero to show that it does not have a charge. The neutron also has a mass of one AMU. Those 12 particles in the carbon atom that AMU is based on, protons and neutrons, each of them with a mass of one AMU. We now know that protons and neutrons are made of even smaller particles. That is a whole nother video. Really the proton and the neutron do not have the exact same mass, but since it's so close, we say that they both have a mass of one atomic mass unit. So electrons are located outside of the nucleus. They have a negative charge, so their symbol is lowercase e with a negative. And oh my gosh, y'all, look at that mass. 1 18 hundredth of an AMU. Yes, you're seeing that right. Electrons are teeny tiny. We consider all of the mass of the atom to be in the nucleus since protons and neutrons both have one AMU and the mass of the electron is so tiny, it's barely even worth mentioning. So the mass number is protons plus neutrons and the symbol for mass number is letter A. The protons and the neutrons, they don't have to be equal because remember, the neutrons don't have a charge. So the number of neutrons is never going to interfere with the charge in an atom. But what has to be equal is the protons and the electrons because remember, these are the charged particles. Protons are positive, electrons are negative. All atoms are neutral. Yes, it's made of particles that have charges, the pluses have to equal the minuses. Okay, so let's go over that one more time. The atomic number, Z, is the number of protons, and the mass number, A, is the protons plus the neutrons, the mass of the nucleus, because that's where the biggest particles are. So that's all of the parts of the atom. Help a teacher out. Y'all know what to do. Press the like button if you found this helpful. Also, subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Until next time, bye y'all.